What's up everyone? This is me. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my tutorial. I'm here to show you just a quick trick on, not even a trick, just a quick saving grace, you know what I'm saying? Um, to help you when you're in a creative mode and maybe you made a mistake. Maybe you started working on a beat and you don't like all the sounds that you added and you want to revert back to um, the original settings like your starting point or your midpoint and you feel like you got too far you got to undo a bunch of stuff but you aren't doing it but it won't go back you know so you can revert it to the settings in which you've liked with a built-in feature that logic already comes with if you've um, if you're a person that mixes in logic and maybe you have added way too many plugins or you made a mistake somewhere you just can't figure it out but you know what a certain point you like where you're at and you want to get back to that point I'm gonna show you how to get back to those settings and you will not have to start over with your project um, I came to this because yesterday I was working on a beat and I had done something within my track alternatives and no matter what I did I just couldn't I just couldn't fix it so I'm like okay I'm frustrated I don't want to have to delete this those drums were the best i've ever done you know and i just became very grateful for my project out of nowhere and i eventually ran into revert to so without further ado i'm gonna get into it okay so here um i have a loop right i have this loop um and i want to get back to the drums in which i started it with now you see the drums are nowhere. I thought I had it hidden, but they're not hidden. You see I'm hitting, I turn the H off. Oh my God. All right. So I wanna go back to an earlier point in my project in which I had those drums. So I'm gonna go to my header all the way up here. Not this header, but the header above that. Um, and I'm gonna go to file. And then I'm gonna go to revert to. And it's telling me that I saved this 11, 23, 20 at 10 21 p.m. all right and then these are the, these are my different backups okay from 10 21 you know and it got the times at 5 p.m 4 p.m 3 p.m all that all that um you see i've been working early this says 3 51 a.m <laughs> but i know it was earlier because i know i started this project with drums so i'm going to go to backup 10 all right and i've studied this so let's see revert and it says after revert in the last manually saved version of your project appears as backup one in the revert to sub menu any changes made since saving this will be lost alrighty so I'm going to revert and I know that if I want to go back to this it'll be backup one revert so yeah I, I study before I do my um tutorials so I can give you all of the tea All right, so let's go. And I didn't start with that pattern either. So let's see what I got hidden on this. Uh, nothing hot. <laughs> All right. So those are my drums. As you can hear, they nizak. And I have machine. Now I'm going to go back to the file. I'm going to go back to the original one, which is right here. Um, but you know what? Actually, I want to see was there any more in there that I liked. So this was 10. I'm going to go to, say, maybe 4. Let me see. What was I doing at 4? Mm -hmm. I'd be on YouTube all to say. I'm trying to get into some Neo, so I've been listening to a lot of that. As far as, like, production-wise. This song right here inspires me alrighty so here is where as you can see here's where I had the patterns I'm gonna turn this down so <laughs> that was knocking way too much okay as you can see so this is like this is where I was at when I made it when I made that pattern, I was going to say piano and pattern. 
But so I had this pattern first and I made these two and I think I just knocked this off and I knocked out the drums and I kept these two. Okay. Um, but I like where I was at. I like um, just that loop that I had. So I'm going to go to revert to. I'm going to go back to just my two piano loops. I'm hoping I'm explaining this clearly. Um, I'm not an actual teacher. I always got to get a disclaimer because language is very important when you're trying to teach. And I just hope that I'm at least coming across, across simplistic enough for you to understand um, what I'm saying. Alrighty, so we came there. So now you know, like, you can go to revert to and it has all of your backups. Okay, I should have said that at the beginning, but it has all of your backups telling you the date and time in which you've constructed them. And if you want to go back to them, you can. So now you know that. So now we're going to go to Logic Pro X here and we're going to go to preferences because what you see here, you can only have 10 backups, right? But you're in control. You can have all the way up to 100 of these backups. So I'm going to go to preferences. You do that by going to Logic Pro and Preferences, and you're going to go to General, right? Okay. So when you go to General, and you go to Project Handling, which defaultly, it'll load up to there. Um, you can set your auto backups. So this says last 10 alternative versions. You can go to 30, 50, 200. Alrighty. I think 10 is cool because it keeps it simple. But I'm going to go to 30 just because. You never know, you know? So you can just set that for your auto backups. Okay, system default. Alrighty, start the version. I did want to change it. Okay, this is cool too. While we're here, you can um, go to your startup options. I know mine's open my most recent project, and sometimes I don't want that. Um, I'm going to take mine at existing project. But you can also select a temple, I mean a template in which you want to start from. You can create that and you can create an empty new template too. That's just an extra nugget for you being here on the video. So is this thing because I be tired of it loading up a project, then it's loading up all of these plugins and all that. And it's just like I gotta sit through that now. Alrighty. So yeah, that's my short tutorial. I hope you learned something. I hope this helps. It helped me a lot. Um, and I'm so happy I found it and I was like, why not just pass on the knowledge, you know, so thank you for watching many more to come